Hey everybody, I'm Ricky Nellis and welcome to episode number 85 of Rickster Diaries. It is Tuesday the 16th of July and the time is now 7 minutes past 5 in the morning. Well, long time since uh, Rickster Diaries but we are back. Yep, I've been to a few diesel galas as you would have seen and also been spending quite a lot of um, time with family really which is one of the things I was really missing out on anyway for today's journey well today we're going to visit two of Scotland's major seven cities and the first stop of the day is going to be at Edinburgh Waverley so the journey to Edinburgh I'm doing this in a very different way because we the side journey here at Scarborough we're going to be catching the 0548 Transpine service to York via Leeds due to the um, Transpine route of grade works then from York we're then able to catch the 0715 Transpine Nova 1 service to Newcastle and then from Newcastle we'll go board one, one of Transpennine's daily services that went between Newcastle and Edinburgh Waverley and that's the 0921 service and because I bought the wave Transpennine Express by the NLER I saved £14 on this journey <coughs> and second city we'll talk about that later well it's just a week for the summer holidays um, so let's go out there, let's enjoy it!
service to Newcastle. The next stop will be Newcastle.
So film it here and uh, see what vibes we get. Let's enjoy it.
is formed of eight coaches. Platform, platform 17, for the 1148 Scotrail service to the northeast with Scott. Calling at Haymarket, South Gale, Edinburgh Gateway, Dunmany, North Queensferry, Edinburgh Keithing, Versailles, Dunfermline City, Dunfermline Queen Market, Cowden Beath, Loch Gailey, Cabden Den, and Glenorthus with Thornton. This train is formed of four coaches. Carlisle, Penrith, North Lakes, Oxenholme, Lancaster, Preston, Bolton, Manchester Oxford Road, Manchester Piccadilly and Manchester Airport. This train is formed of five coaches. Platform 12 for the 1212 Transpennine Express service to Manchester Airport.
round of eight coaches. Platform eight for the 1215 Scott Rail Express service to Glasgow Queen Street. Okay, everyone. I'm um, gonna finish it there now. It's uh, now 12:29. It's a little good hour here. Well, I've got some uh, good variety. Anyway, um, we are gonna see. We're seeing it in the dark, but we'll see it in the daylight. Now that's we'll check the bear. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll go get some lunch now. Um, I saw cost a coffee as well, so I'll take this opportunity. Our right, next stop will be Glasgow, if you guessed it. <coughs> Do apologise, I'm just excited about this call the fact for a oh, while. Wow.
Okay, everyone, and yes, it is raining a little bit. It was 1421. Here's every week to come to Glasgow Green Street. Yep, two Scotland into City 7 services here at um, Glasgow Green Street. Incredible. That's we set the scene today. You know what? Nearly 50 years old, and it's still going strong for Scott Rail. Unbelievable. Anyway, um, Yes, Glasgow Queen Street, here we are. Trains in our Glasgow Queen Street. This is Scott Rail Operating Station. Um, I would say... I'm going to 
to say it's got around about five or six platforms here. I didn't do my research. Anyway, you get Scott Rail services only from this station. Uh, the train's going to Aberdeen, Inverness, Edinburgh Waverley, um, well, Scott Rail Express, uh, Falco Greenston, uh, and also trains to Isleware. You also get the Highland, West Highland Line services. Um, through the regions of like um, Open and Tamaling by Fort William. And yeah, this, the, today's gone better than I expected to be honest. I've been spending an hour here, spending an hour filming here. Well, I came here a couple of years ago and the staff were really easy. Uh, this seems they're easy on me at the moment for now. Anyway, we'll enjoy ourselves, and then if it's open, we'll try and sign the Glasgow Central as well.
Well, look okay, everybody. So we just finished filming here at Glasgow Queen Street. It's 16.37. What a very busy hour here. Um, anyway, we're going to make our way back towards um, Glasgow Queen Street Station and we're going to catch a the return Scott Rail Express uh, back to Edinburgh. And then we'll spend like an hour or so just like sightseeing. We'll also find Old Jack, the Polish Warbed statue. This has been a wonderful day. And the weather has been on our side, so we got very lucky today. Anyway, let's go clock out and um, yeah, back to Glasgow Green Street and then back to Edinburgh.
to York, then check 45 minute connection to Scarborough. Sweet, made it just in time. Okay, time for us to go home. On board 801220. I believe it's the last um, service to London King's Cross. This does like you can Getting to London to around my ten past one is in the hours of morning. <coughs> this is where I've got a whole table seat to myself at the moment. Anyway, this is a quiet approach, and some past just clearly don't stand the purpose of it. This gets copyrighted, but just some people clearly don't have any respect. Hello, and welcome on board this LNER Azuma to London King's Cross. <laughs> We will call at Berwick upon Tweed, Almouth, Morpeth, Newcastle, Durham, Darlington, Northallerton, York, Doncaster, Retford, Newark Northgate, Grantham, Peterborough, Stevenage, and London King's Cross. <laughs> The next station will be Eric upon Tweed. Whoa, well, careful. We'll slow it down a lot. Uh, but we just about past the bar. Yeah. Unfortunately, there was an early fatality incident. 
the dancer area. So a lot of trainers are being subject to delays and even cancellations. And like I said, I do apologise about the um, very noisy passengers, but um, I don't have hands on paper, so this is a quiet coach.
Doncaster, Redford, New and Northgate, Grantham, Peterborough, Stevenage and on the King's Cross are resumed to arrive and terminate at 0116. My name is Jermaine, I'll be train manager for your journey. We find all good through training and family towards the very rear back of the for Alpha. Please take in security CCTV in operation and safety information and safety in coaches and Wi-Fi is available throughout. If you see something that does not look right, contact a member of staff or take British transport please on 61016. Our next calling point will be Durham Station. We are due to arrive approximately 21.27. Once again, that's 21.27 at Durham Station. Thank you. Hello, and welcome on board this LNER Azuma to London King's Cross. LNER Azuma to London King's Cross.
Okay, everybody, it's the following evening. It's now 21.25. Yep, so I did meet up with the lads today, Jack Newell and Alex Dodds. Great to see them. Um, as always, it's great to see those two uh, today. Anyway, let's conclude yesterday's outing, which yesterday we went to two of Scotland's major cities. Edinburgh and Glasgow. So, we started a journey at Scarborough. We called the 0548 Transpanine Express Service to York. Now, Transpanine are currently running a amended service at the moment uh, due to Transpanine route upgrades uh, near Dewsbury. So, that's why we revere at Scarborough Yorks. Anyway, York, uh, we then caught the 0713 Transpanion Express Nova 1 service to Newcastle. Um, I didn't realise the train actually started at York. I thought it started like at Manchester, but it started at York. So I managed to film an extra travel rides video for that. Anyway, a very smooth and very comfortable Nova 1 journey through to Newcastle. At Newcastle, we had around about an hour um, to wait. Our train. Um, now I was very concerned because there was um, overrunning engineering works near Morpeth, so trains were heavily delayed and even cancelled. But fortunately, by the time our train arrived, um, it all cleared up. And that train was the 0923 Transpanion Nova One service to Edinburgh Waverley. And that unit actually came in from Liverpool Lime Street, uh, which then formed a which then formed the fair, I think it's the first shuttle service of the day uh, to Edinburgh Waverley. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't up to par because we crossed into Northumbria and it was very, very foggy. Anyway, at Edinburgh Waverley, we signed in without any problems at all. Uh, we managed to do an hour spotting, we got some quite a bit in. Um, some good variety. We saw an 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 Azuma on um, crew training by the looks of it that uh, ran up to Glasgow Central on the crew trainer. We'd seen um, plenty of Jupiter units and the three fives as well, which there's seems to be a lot more of now. And yeah, 170s was scoring into your seventh set as well. Um, so, yeah, very good hour. <clears throat> then, and after we had a lovely Costa Coffee lunch, we then caught the 1315 um, Scott Rail Express, Pairing Class 3 and 5s, uh, through to Glasgow Queen Street. A lovely journey that was. Although the bike, although the bike was a little bit bumpy in some areas, a train got to speed, but nevertheless, um, a good journey. Now at Glasgow Queen Street, and uh, I will be honest, I was completely oblivious about this, but there was crew shortages, start and severe start shortages going on happening in Scotland. 
So unfortunately for the evening services, um, evening trains were severely impacted. Uh, Motherwich was unfortunately the cancellation of one Scott Rail in City 7 set. Sorry, um, Scott Rail Express service um, back to Edinburgh Waverley and that wasn't good because trains were cut by 10 for 30 minutes um, and you find that some you had to wait for an hour for the next Scott Rail Express service. That wasn't good. Anyway, Glasgow Queen Street, we've uh, had an interesting hour filming there. We've seen two, Scott, two more Scott Rail in Seat 7 sets. That uh, definitely proved their worth. Absolutely incredible seeing those HST sets. And they've been extended to five coaches, which is um, excellent to see. And it'll be plenty of three and fives again. And Class 158's running, <laughs> running there as well. Anyway, um, next up we then went to our final station of the day, Glasgow Central. So it was only a short walk, around a 15 minute, 15 minute stroll to Glasgow Central. Anyway, we signed in, no problems at all. Even though it was, it's been over six years last time I was at the station, it was incredibly busy. Again, um, a lot of variety. We saw Vantivest Course Pendolinos. We've seen um, Transpanine Nova 2. Actually, one of the day services was the one between Glasgow Central and Liverpool Lime Street. So that was a bonus. We've also been to... We've also seen... Um, Crafty 380s, 305s. Um, the rare units, the three, 318s and the 320s. So we've got some pretty decent variety at uh, Glasgow Central. Anyway, next, um, we made our way back to Glasgow Queen Street. Now, the original plan was to catch 1715 Scotwell Express Service back to Edinburgh. However, that got cancelled again due to staff shortages uh, that was taking place. So, yeah, it didn't really help the situation. So we caught the seventeen fifteen. Scott, oh, so, sorry, you know it's like you want to sneeze, but you can't. Anyway, um, we caught the seventeen forty five Scott Rail Express service at Edinburgh Waverley. That effectively took two train loads um, all the way through. <laughs> that was a really, really busy um, service. Anyway, we got back to Edinburgh, and there I had under an hour to find Volchak, the Polish war there. And we made it. We did see it. We also had a little bit of time as well to do a little bit of sightseeing as well, whilst we're walking back to Edinburgh Avery. Um, so that was good. Anyway, from Edinburgh, the journey back, uh, we caught the 1936 NLDR Azuma service to load the King's Cross. That's an unusual service because it runs fast down to York, and then York, it calls on those stations, so like Doncaster, Retford, New Northgate, Grantham, Peterborough, Stephen H and Ludwig King's Cross, so it called them most stations. Anyway, that early hours over did not get into London until quarter past one in the early hours of the morning. Anyway, at York, we then called the 2305 Transpine Express Service back to Scarborough. I will just say it was a truly Lovely day in Scotland. I'd love to make a whole day out of it so we can really explore um, Scotland. But one place that's in particular is on my to-do list is the West Highlands in particular. And that's it for this one. So thank you very much for watching everybody. You can follow me on the usual social media links which are in the description below or coming up at the end screen. And I'll see you all in the next one.